Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about um, a feature that Salesforce provide called list view. Okay, so Salesforce is a database and we do capture the data in different different objects. For an example, let's say lead is an object. Lead object, suppose um, for a customer, uh, this particular lead object is holding like millions of lead data. Since last five years, a lot of lead information that has been gathered in this lead object now when you go and you know click on this lead right it's supposed to give you a view where this is the recently view leads which shows you whatever leads that you have uh, recently viewed you can just see those leads and then if you want you can actually change these views these are the um, salesforce given standard list view remember this term called list view list view are basically to filter the data okay so you might have like uh, you know millions of record in the lead object but whatever um, lead information that you want to see maybe let's say i want to see the open leads i can go and click on the open leads i want to see the you know uh, lead that has been um, uh, that has been closed status by the way there is no um, uh, you know filter available called uh, close lead right so i can create that too okay so these are the called list view and we have few standard list view available we can go and create the list view by ourselves if you see here right we have a couple of things over here we're going to export now all these options that you have available first thing is this gearbox in this gearbox you can either you know create a new list view or you can create a new list view by cloning an existing one or you can rename you can do the sharing settings and you can edit the filters in the list view and delete and so and so okay so list view is basically um, a, a tool which will help you to filter the data and show you the exact data that you need it's kind of a report i know we do the same thing in the report as well we will learn in the next videos uh, something called report in the report also we do the same thing you might have like thousands of data and with the report filters what we do we just fetch the correct data and show same thing that list view does so now let me go and uh, explain these other um, uh, buttons that is available okay first one is this this is basically the filters all open leads these this is the list view and for this list view these are the filters first filter says it show it will show you all the leads doesn't matter if you own the lead or someone else when i say you it's a logged in user okay so if i click on this same all open leads this particular list view it will show you all the leads okay you can change it to my leads or maybe let's say there is there are a few leads owned by a queue called xyz and you want to show only those lead can select that queue name got it or you want to show let's say some specific leads which is coming from a specific campaign you can type in the campaign it will show you that leads only those leads only all right so this is the filter that we already have here and this is another filter called lead status okay does not contains what is the value i think um, closed yeah they have selected here so this is the list view and the filter i'm showing here first filter is this all lead second filter is lead status does not contain uh, closed okay so this is what the list view uh, that has already been created uh, we're going to go and create a new, new list view and show you how i'm going to show you how it um, looks like next option that we have here is called chart see these option no it it, it it this chart option is not available in the um, classic view you know salesforce has two different view right salesforce lightning whatever we have discussed so far it's all salesforce lightning that's the future basically so i didn't show you things in classic but we have an old version called salesforce classic there you don't find these luxuries list view is definitely there but this the chart and all is not available in the uh, classic view so this is the chart that is available leads by lead source and if it is required we can create a new chart as well okay so we can create a new chart and uh, same thing like when you create a new chart you give a name what is the chart type aggregate type aggregate field and the grouping field okay click on save you will see a new chart over here so based on the business requirement 
the the logged in user can actually create a chart just to see the data just to visualize the data got it so this pencil you know right it is just to edit the list so you can edit anything with this pencil in fact you know if you go here any in any data right you'll see a pencil next to it so this is called inline edit instead of editing the entire record you can actually do an inline edit to edit that particular thing okay then this is to refresh the data and this is here you can display the data in this three different view one is table the one that you are seeing right now it just look like an excel file and this is called table okay you can display the same data with this kanban okay and this is pretty much helpful if you want to see the data segregating with the status so status called open not connected i have this many records status called working connected i have this many record close no records got it and we have another um, view called split view this is also helpful when you want to see the data in this way let's say these are the leads data if you click on this it will give you the details of the lead if you click on this details of that lead right so that's called split view all right now based on whatever the business user is comfortable we have to go ahead and click on that particular thing okay now if i go back from this particular view if i want to go back to the list view have to click here click on table because table is what uh, most of us are familiar to see right so this is how you can um, do a little bit tweak on the list view and uh, you know you can see the data you can filter the data now the thing is how can i create a new list view these are the salesforce given list view suppose i want to see i want to create this list view okay where um, you might have millions of record but my list view is going to fetch today's data today's lead okay or my list view is going to fetch only those leads leads which has been purchased okay for that let's create a new list view click on this gear box here okay and then we have a button called new click on new give a name let's say i want to see yesterday's list view uh, yesterday's leads okay or last month so give a name yesterday's lead now it is asking you that you want to show this list view to only yourself only i can see the list view all user can see the list view or some specific groups if you select the specific group you can select the public group or the role or the role subordinates cool now i'm selecting this is only for me okay only i can see save i just have created it i have not given any criteria now you have to give the filter if you don't give the filter then what will happen all the millions of lead will come over here now let's give a filter a filter could be anything i can give filter let's say um created by sorry created date let me choose the created date here you can type in also right okay if you type created date it will come quickly here just type in cre okay it will come over here and you can use the operator like equals to not equals to i'm using equals to see if you want to use uh, i mean there's a there are function called t-o-d-a-y you can use it here created date equals to yesterday you can use it ideally it should be like capital letter y e s t e r d a y if you give this no click on done and if you click on save it will show you only those leads which has been created yesterday and there is no lead created yesterday okay so i'm going to go edit the same thing and put it last month i'm pretty sure last month there are few leads created so if you click on save now see i can see couple of record last month i i got this three records created what if i put like today t o d a y if you click on done you will see only those record which has been created today today there is no record created got it so you can actually use this list view and you can create your own custom list view to see the data make sense now this is one of your list view you can actually pin that list view on top of it so i'm just i just have pinned it right i have pinned the list so yesterday's leads is is coming in the end okay cool so this is how the list view works i hope this is clear in this video how you can use those existing list view or you can create your own new list view or you can edit 
right if you can go to any other let's say i'm going to um, all open list view okay and you can edit the filters okay if you click on this you can edit the list view filters as well this is the page got it and then we have seen how this particular um, charts works and then we have seen how you can change the displays right you can either see the data in a table format or maybe a kanban format or maybe in list view uh, split view format right so this is the user interface page that has been given to the business user and they can use it okay i hope this list view thing is clear see you in the next video